With Ted Cruz's victory in Wisconsin giving the Texas senator a big boost of confidence. But can either Cruz or Donald Trump win the delegates that are needed to win the actual nomination? Or will they be unbound for glory and need to rely on those unbound delegates? Well, here to discuss all this is our Fox News legal analyst, Peter Johnson. Hey, good morning, Good morning. It looks like they're unbound for glory, and I love hearing that music um, <laughs> this morning. They need to rely, Donald Trump or Ted Cruz, on so-called unbound delegates. Those are those delegates who are not, by law, by party rules, having to vote for the person who wins that particular state. And there's about 143 spread around the United States in the Republican race. On top of that, there are going to be about 80 Rubio delegates who may be unbound as a result of Marco Rubio stepping out of the race, and then perhaps others. So uh, a bound delegate means you've got to vote for the person to whom you're pledged to vote for. But in a lot of states like Pennsylvania, where we were talking about before we came on, people will elect a, a, a person in that state, Donald Trump, Cruz, John Kasich, but all of the delegates are not committed to vote for the person who actually won that state or that district. Mm -hmm. They make a personal determination at the convention. So there's a lot of movement here. So for Cruz and for uh, Trump and even Kasich in a remote sense, they need to be working on these so-called unbound delegates, people who are not committed to begin with or are uncommitted as of the second ballot. It's a primary race, but it's really a secondary race. What happens on the second ballot if you don't win on the first ballot? I wonder, how often does that happen? Does someone who's unbound go into the convention and vote for the candidate that, that their state didn't vote for? Well, th that's a very interesting I issue. And a lot of Cruz and Trump supporters are concerned and upset. Is this going to be a reversion to old-time politics in the Republican mm -hmm. Party, where the party leaders, the so-called establishment, the so-called elites, dictate the so-called unbound that they better vote for someone who's acceptable to the Washington elites, who's acceptable to the state capitals, uh, who may not be inclined to vote for Trump or Cruz, and then there's some third-person surprise that comes in at the time of the convention. So Trump and Cruz need to mind their P's and Q's in terms of working on these unbound delegates and becoming more palatable to the elites, the establishment, the people who run the parties, so they can win on a second or third or fourth or fifth or sixth ballot. You know, it's going to be an educational experience for all of us. You can we'll study all it all day. I know. It That's can be very confusing. Okay. Thank you so much for clarifying okay. all this for us. Peter Johnson, Jr. here with us. Uh, we appreciate thanks, it. Amy.